we, we've been doing really well. Um, practices are going really well. We're working hard. Mm -hmm. um, all the freshmen are doing a great job. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, everyone is. Um, you guys are a pretty young team. Mm -hmm. How does that kind of affect like just the overall morale and like how you go into games with less experience and stuff like that? I mean, we've been together for the whole summer already mm -hmm. now. So we really are like one team mm -hmm. and uh, we do have a lot of young players, but mm -hmm. I think it's been going really well. Like okay. they're working very hard and mm -hmm. it's really good. I guess kind of how do you feel you've done in the past two games? Like, um, I feel good as a team. Mm -hmm. We're really bonding. Um, we're working well together. I just mm -hmm. can't wait to see where it goes. You're going into play Stanford, who will be your highest ranked opponent so far this mm -hmm. season. Um, what are you going into that mentality wise, personally? Uh, personally, it's always work hard mentality. I'm going to work hard and see where it goes from there. And, um, you know, you have this full week to prepare pretty much for Stanford. Yeah. You had a quick turnaround from the Vermont game to the Albany game. Um, what is there some a different type of focus that you're zeroed in on as a team this week, or is it kind of just here's our opponent, what this is what we got to do to get done? We focus on the things that uh, weren't as uh, like that were a little bit cloudy for the other games, and we're just going to work on enhancing those and just getting so much better as a team. Perfect. It's a relatively young team. How has mm. that kind of um, affected the way you guys approach the season? Yeah, we definitely have a really young group coming into the season, but it's actually, I think, an advantage to us because we have a lot of new energy, which we haven't had in, say, past years. So it's mm -hmm. really kind of nice because the upperclassmen can focus on having more of a leadership group, but mm -hmm. then the underclassmen can help bring the fun, bring the energy, mm -hmm. bring that love of the game that they naturally have. Um, so you're currently preparing for Stanford. You're going to take um, take your trip across the country tomorrow and prepare for them. And this is a team you've seen before, and, and we play them pretty consistently every year. So um, what is the preparation going in? Are you watching a lot of film from past years, or is it, hey, this could be a whole new Stanford team we've never seen before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we haven't. Technically, we're starting today our preparation, so we'll see what comes in terms of scouting them. But we've been preparing for this, for games like this, all of preseason. We've, like I said earlier, kept up our energy, kept our, our belief. So just working on the little things to bring them, bring them into Stanford so we can really just play our own game against them. OK, and coming off that big win against Albany at home on Sunday. Um, you're part of our defensive unit. We stopped uh, three, four corners in the last no seconds, actually. Mm -hmm. um, very exciting win for your team. A lot of the freshmen got to experience that really high after winning a big game. Mm -hmm. um, what was the environment like in the locker room when you guys all got off the field that day? It was awesome. It, was, it really just showed how our hard work paid off. There was so much belief that day and belief not only from the unit that was in on those corners, not only from the girls that were on the field, but also from the bench, from the coaches, from everyone. So it was really nice when we got into the locker room to kind of just let loose and kind of just enjoy that win for a little bit before we had to focus on the next game.